So the World Cup in Qatar 2022 is well underway and we're going to bring out a short little mini series here of tactical recreations of some of the most popular nations and some of the most popular tactics that are playing right now at the World Cup. And who better to start things off with than the current world ranked number one team, which is of course Brazil. Now they've started their campaign with a 2-0 victory against Serbia and the main man GYR sat down with his pen and paper, watched the game and came up with this tactic now we're going to dive in first and foremost to whoscored.com it's a very good source of football information and they have gone and suggested that brazil played a 4-2-3-1 allison in net danilo marquinhos tiago silva and alexandro rounding off that back line lucas paqueta alongside casemiro as the defensive two sitters Vinicius Jr. on the left-hand side, Rafinha on the right-hand side, and then Neymar playing in behind Richarlison, who obviously did score the two goals. Now, this is very interesting because if we also flick over onto their positional report, this from Brazil doesn't look like a 4-2-3-1 whatsoever. It very much looks like a 4-2-4. Now, that is actually what the main man has produced. So if we dive into the game, obviously we are here with Brazil, obviously the number one ranked nation in the world, as you can see here. Um, they are in Group G alongside Cameroon, Serbia, Switzerland. We've got the correct teams here ready to go. Um, and we've also put this tactic in. Now, first and foremost, I will say I have picked their World Cup squad. I've picked their World Cup squad. They're all here. They're all, they've all got the correct numbers. Um, but I will point out, because the eagle-eyed of you will notice, yes, the pencil is here. The in-game editor is open. I promise you... That is only to make sure that the right players are at the World Cup. Because when I set this up, first of all, I didn't have the editor enabled. And Neymar got injured and would have missed the entire World Cup. So we cannot be having that. So this is what GYR noticed from the game. So he has set it up. This is the GYR Brazilian. Uh, very interesting name from him. And it is a 4-2-4. Obviously, taking into, into consideration the position of these players actually in the game, this is what he's come up with and put it into a football manager sense. We will put this tactic to the test. I will simulate an entire World Cup as well just to see how it actually does get on. Because we've not actually tested this with anyone or anything. This is just what Gareth clocked and wanted to try in Football Manager, just in case you guys wanted to play like Brazil, because who wouldn't? In net, then, we have a sweeper keeper, which, of course, is Allison. Uh, they are on support duty. Uh, no additional instructions on him. Now, what you did notice is the fullbacks. They're not traditional Brazilian fullbacks. They're not bombing up as much. And that's probably because if you look at their in-game ratings, they're only three stars or three stars for Danilo, two and a half stars for Alexandro. These are not the level of fullbacks that Brazil have had previously. These are not Cafu, Roberto Carlos. This isn't Dani Alves in his prime, despite him being in the squad. So on the right back spot, we've got a wing back on support. We cross from the byline and shoot less often, much the same same with Alexandro on the left hand side that is also a wing back on support in terms of the two central defenders we've got Marquinhos alongside Thiago Silva uh, both with the additional instruction of shoot less often the additional instructions guys if you do want to recreate this style are the ones with the white cog and the red circle you just hit that edit button to get it up and then obviously you just hit shoot less often in this particular instance then we move into the midfield we've got Casemiro alongside Lucas Paqueta as it did start in the game Casemiro as that ball winning midfielder on support duty he has the additional instructions of take more risk dribble more and shoot less often alongside him Lucas Paqueta as a box box midfielder just on support function on the right hand side we noticed with the heat maps and stuff from the game that the wide players were up really really high and I think Rafinha and Vinicius Jr are the perfect players for this if you look at the actual depth of the squad for Brazil and some of the players that they've got here like Martinelli, Rodrigo, Anthony, Gabriel Jesus they can all play in these positions they can all kind of interchange around the top four and i think that's what makes brazil a real threat for this world cup um on the right hand side it is an inside forward on attack duty with shoot less often on rafinha on the right hand side it is vinicius jr uh, as an inside forward as well but he has the additional instructions of shoot less often stay wider stretch in that pitch create that space for neymar and also has tackle harder up top we have neymar the main man himself as a trequartista 
on attack. We noticed last night that he was dropping into this sort of position, picking up the ball and trying to create the attacks until he got injured. Fingers crossed he can continue in the World Cup. Um, but a Traquatista is the perfect role for Neymar in this formation. And then the man who scored both goals, Richarlison up top, has an advanced forward. He is the sort of main focal point out of the two with Neymar hoping to link things. Um, these two actually did sit a little bit deeper with the wide players pushing on. Um, but hopefully we can replicate that in Football Manager. So the advance forward on attack duty, take more risks and dribble more often. Uh, a positive mentality because it's Brazil. In terms of some of the other stuff, guys, fairly wide attacking width. Those wide players did stay pretty wide and quite high. We're passing into space because we do have that pace up top, playing out from the fence, slightly shorter passing and a much higher tempo. Mix crosses into that final third and the creative freedom. Be more expressive because we're Brazil. Um, in transition, this is how things will be looking. We are going to be counter-pressing uh, right off the bat. Uh, we will be countering when the possession has been won. Uh, in terms of that goalkeeper distribution, distributing to the defence, basically. The full-backs and the centre-backs taking short kicks by doing so. Out of possession, guys. High line of press. A uh, high line of engagement, sorry, with a high press and a higher defensive line. Triggering that press much more often and preventing that short goalkeeper distribution. We're getting stuck in in terms of our tackling and we're stepping up more one of the new features on fm23 this year stepping up more with that defensive line so obviously i've done this i've set this up and i've put the correct players in the correct positions based on last night's result against serbia let's simulate a world cup to see how this tactic does get on i'll be doing that by going onto my profile going onto holiday i'll be using the current team selection whenever possible and i'm going to simulate all the way now until the end of the world cup and let's see what happens with this brazil team during our simulation, Brazil dominated Group G from start to finish. They opened their campaign with a powerful 4-1 victory against Cameroon, with Rafinha putting on a superb display, netting an impressive hat-trick before Neymar slotted an unbelievable free kick right at the death. Up next was Serbia, who Brazil met in their opening game of the World Cup in real life. However, this one in-game was very one-sided, with Brazil running out 5-1 winners with five different goal scorers in the game, including goals from Neymar, Vinicius Jr., Richarlison, Rafinha and Rodrigo. Rounding off the group stage, it was a game against Switzerland who suffered the same fate as the others in the group and lost 4-2. A brace from Neymar was followed by goals from Vinicius Jr. and Edo Militao. On to the knockouts. First up was Portugal and it needed a little bit of Neymar brilliance to get them past Cristiano Ronaldo and move them on into the quarter finals. Germany was the opposition in the quarterfinals, and even though Kai Havertz scored a very impressive hat-trick, Brazil ran out winners thanks to goals from Rafinha, Vinicius Jr., and yet another brace from Neymar. The semi-finals was very close, but Rafinha popped up yet again with another goal in this tournament in the 34th minute, which saw Brazil run out 1-0 victors. So this meant that Brazil advanced to the finals and they would take on France. This was clearly a close game, going to extra time as Gabriel Martinelli opened the scoring, but his goal was cancelled out by who else but Kylian Mbappe. So this close game went all the way to penalties, which saw Brazil come out on top 7-6 and ultimately go on to lift the 2022 World Cup trophy. So there you have it, guys. A very clean run through the World Cup and ultimately you can download this tactic yourself there will be a link down in the description if you do want to pick this up for yourself but ultimately a very good world cup for brazil uh going all the way not really showing any signs of weakness obviously getting the job done in the end against france on penalties fair play to the boys it was a very impressive performance and uh as I said, you can go and get this tactic and play like Brazil. If you do like these guys, please do drop a like on this video and let us know because hopefully we can bring out a few more tactical recreations as we progress through the tournament. Um, and if you do like GYR and his tactics, check out this playlist. It's every tactic that he's released on FM23 so far.